Now that Google has officially released a preview of their upcoming desktop mode for Android, specifically Pixel devices, I thought it might be useful today in this video to take a little bit of a closer look as to what you need to get the most out of this experience. For those of you who are veterans of Samsung Galaxy devices and veterans, therefore, of Samsung DeX, a lot of this stuff might be stuff you already know, but I think the fact that Pixel users really haven't had this as an option is probably why I've gotten so many questions about these external monitors, USB-C hubs, lap docks, etc., etc. So let's dig in and try to answer as many of those questions as I can. So first and foremost, yes, this is currently, I am filming this on June the 16th. This is part of a beta, specifically Android 16 QPR1 Beta 2. So if you're not running that, you aren't going to have access to this feature set. You also have to have a Pixel device that is capable of video out over USB-C. So your original Pixel Fold, I'm sorry, you are not included in this. You're not going to have this capability. So right now we're looking at my Pixel 9 Pro XL. We are running that beta and all that you need to do is jump into your settings. You're going to scroll down to about phone and then you're going to look for a build number. Click it a bunch of times until you are a developer or you have developer options enabled. Then look under system and then under developer options. And then we're going to scroll all the way down almost to the very, very bottom. We're looking for window management and you're going to want to turn on Enable Desktop Experience Features. I'm not actually sure if non-resizable and multi-window force activities to be resizable. These may not even be necessary, but I went ahead and turned them on anyways. But definitely that one needs to be enabled. Then you're going to reboot your phone. From there, you actually have a couple of different options. So depending on what you're plugging this thing into, you might be able to just use a simple USB-C to C cable. Now keep in mind, not all C to C cables can carry video. So if you try this and you get no display, try a different cable. That's just a thing. But you can also use something like this, USB-C to HDMI cable and plug this directly into your television. That is also going to work for anything that has a USB input. For this video, what I'm going to be using is this little monitor that uses USB-C. So there's my monitor and obviously my reflection. And if I plug this phone into this monitor, what's going to happen is the monitor is going to power up, but for whatever reason, it just doesn't want to do everything on its own. I'm not exactly sure what's at fault here, but what I need to keep this actually going is an external power supply. So I'm going to grab this battery bank and we're going to plug this into the monitor as well. And as soon as it's got its own power, now boom, there is that desktop mode being powered by our Pixel 9 Pro XL. I'm not exactly sure why it needs that extra external power supply because uh, if I'm not mistaken, my Samsung devices are able to power this monitor and run DeX all over just that one cable. But for whatever reason, I did need to have that extra power supply. Yeah, no need to speculate on that at all. Here's my Galaxy Z Fold 6. And for whatever reason, it's able to do this all over one cable. It is powering the monitor and it is driving Samsung DeX. You can see that the power bank is not plugged in. This is all happening with the phone. So why the Pixel can't do this, not sure, but something to keep in mind. Now, something else that Google is missing with their implementation is the ability to use your phone as a trackpad and keyboard. I'm hoping this is something that they add, but for right now, it's not there. So you are going to need some sort of external keyboard mouse solution. So what I've been using here lately is this combo pack made by Logitech. I think that they're both branded as Pebble. They are Bluetooth. It's a mouse and a keyboard and if you hook both of these up what you're going to notice is it's paired to my pixel 9 pro xl and everything is working just fine and the cursor knows to be on this external monitor the hot keys when you hit these buttons they act on the external monitor they don't do anything on your phone if i hit that start key it's going to happen again up here on the external monitor and not on the phone itself. So that's gonna work just fine, but you do have some other options. If maybe you don't have something that's Bluetooth, you can also use a USB-C hub. This is a little bit more of a mess, so I'll show you this way. We have the Pixel 9 Pro XL plugged into this Ugreen USB-C hub. That is an HDMI cable, which goes into HDMI mini uh, for this monitor. And that, as you can see, 
also works just fine. And then of course one benefit to that is you have these full size USB ports and you could plug in a dongle for a mouse and keyboard there as well or expand your storage. You can see there a dongle plugged in and that is for my tried and true Logitech uh, mouse trackpad keyboard combo and it is working absolutely fine. But there is yet another way to do this. This is a lap dock from a company called Uperfect, and it serves as a battery, a screen, a trackpad, and a keyboard all for this device. All I have to do is plug it in USB-C to C, and there it is. Not only does that trackpad just work straight out of the box, so does the keyboard, and so does the touch screen. All of it just functions straight away. I am able to fire up YouTube and drag it over to one side and snap it into place and then maybe I could grab a web browser and do the exact same thing over here, all that windowing stuff. Working pretty darn well, guys. Now, I will say it's not perfect, right? I mentioned earlier that the mouse and the keyboard do seem to only work or are only active on the external screen, but sometimes that's not what happens. Sometimes if I aim down here and show you the phone, if the phone was the last thing interacted with, sometimes that start button is gonna bring up that instead. If you come back up here and you interact with the external screen, then it's going to revert back to that behavior. So lots of rough edges for sure, but you gotta keep in mind, this is still a beta product. This is not a finished product by any stretch of the imagination. So we are talking about getting prepared for something that's going to be finished at a later date. The way that you choose to go about this really is going to be dependent on how you intend to deploy this feature once it is completed and fully rolled out. If it's something that you wanna be able to take on the road with you, maybe you travel a lot and you find yourself in a hotel room, maybe just a simple Bluetooth mouse and keyboard and a USB-C to HDMI cable is the simplest way to go. Plug it into the TV that is likely already in the room with you. Maybe a lap dock makes more sense for some people. Maybe a whole dedicated setup. Some of you I know will do something like that. You've got an extra monitor, you've got an extra mouse and keyboard, USB-C hub, and you'll just come home from work and you gotta get some more stuff done on your phone. You plug it in and there is your work setup. But all, like I said, it just depends on what you intend to do with this setup, what kind of work you're trying to get done. But the cool thing about this, just like with Samsung DeX, the flexibility is there. You can kind of just build this thing out however you need it to be. Regardless, I'm just excited that it's finally a thing that is happening after months, if not years, of talking about this feature, that it's rumored and getting comments about how it's never going to happen, it's never going to happen. Well, it is it is finally happening, and it's very, very cool, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What is your setup maybe for Samsung DeX? How do you plan on deploying uh, the official Android desktop experience? Those will all make for great conversations in those comment sections down below. I will be putting some links in the description down there as well for some of the products that you have seen in this video. So if you want to check any of those out, do go look for those links. If you click on one of them and you make a purchase, it does help support the channel, and it doesn't cost you a dime extra. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.